Hello, this reading is for the Gemini Collective. Gemini's for Thursday, February 22nd of 2024. Shall we see what's coming into your energy, Gemini? Let's take a look. Are any messages I can share for your collective? I am not going to take these. But I do hope I put them in the right way. A few more times. Gemini for Thursday. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups. This was a three card read. I have something very interesting to say, but we'll see if they're all linked together, Gemini, or if they are three separate messages. Let us see what grab bag we have for you today. Three of Pentacles clarified is, I like this, this energy. Eight of Pentacles, Hangman, Three, Empress. In fact, I think I'm going to throw a card on the Hangman when I'm done with all this, just to scope out that energy, because that feels already really good. It's a good batch. Ace of Cups, Clarify, Gemini's. What is this opportunity? I, of course, did you see that there was like the Ace of Wands? Yes. What is... I think this is nice too. But we'll throw a card on the <laughs> Ten of Wands to make sure. But Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands, or excuse me, King of Wands, and Two of Pentacles. That is actually nice energy too. It's all very productive so far. It's like the person has put the thought into it and then they've put really solid action behind it. That's why it feels so good. It's like direct action and really clear thought. We'll do the Page of Cups next, Gemini. Gemini, Page of Cups clarified. <laughs> King of Swords, the Devil, the High Priestess. Ooh. Under our little innocent Page of Cups. We'll get into that too. First, let's start with our really, really nice energy here. I'm going to throw a card on the Hangman before we get started. I just want to find out what stage, what state is this Hangman in. Nice. This is nice energy, Gemini. It's so productive. So, this can actually go either way. Maybe I should find... This can go either way. I mean, I feel it can go refer to either a connection or this could be work. With the Empress here, I don't necessarily put that to automatically someone viewing you in divine light. But it could be. But it could also be work. I think that the collective is large enough, Gemini's, that, you know, that would be determined like a one-to-one -one reading. But overall, know that you're getting an opportunity. You're definitely getting an opportunity. I feel that with this hangman clarified by the Page of Pentacles, and that's why I said again, it could be romantic. It could be an actual job offer. There has been thought and work in t being put into this connection, this uh, Three of Pentacles connection. And you are definitely coming up in this um, Empress energy. So whether this is you utilizing your creative skills and your knowledge to work into this Three of Pentacles partnership, 
or somebody just views having an emotional connection with you, a relationship, as something that they want to build out. It can go either way. But Gemini, note this is beautiful energy, first of all. This is productive, beautiful, straightforward. I mean, I can't say enough good things about the feeling that I get from this these energies. Somebody's coming forward to you for collaboration, regardless if it's work or a romantic connection, and they're doing it in such good energy. They see you as a powerhouse, too. Know that. Regardless if it's a job or a person, they see you as just a fountain <laughs> of possibilities. That's what they see you in, in that Three of Pentacles. Anyway, someone else sees you as a fountain of possibilities. I'm going to throw a card on this Ten of Wands. I want to find out what kind of Ten of Wands energy is this. Is this a beautiful labor or is this something you can't wait to let go of? Nice. That's all I need. Okay, so you're getting definitely a romantic connection here. And the reason why I say that is besides the fact that we have our Ace, I feel the Two of Pentacles. This is actually very... Someone has a physical attraction to you, Gemini. But let me step back. Ace of Pentacles clarified by Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, which is clarified by Ace of Swords. This is beautiful energy for... You have two sets of beautiful energy. Aren't you lucky, Geminis? It's like, again, putting in honest work, direct work, and in, in such good energy, in honest energy. Because they believe in the in the end goal too, it's it's really nice, it's really nice. Like two thumbs up, energy. <laughs> anyway, this person being clarified by the Ace of Swords is laboring for towards a specific goal. The King of Wands here, together with the Two of Pentacles, this shows me as well that this person does have like a physical attraction towards you, but they also want to get to know you. They're going to put the work into it. They... My little cat says yes. I feel as well there'll be like very interesting conversation. You will enjoy dealing with this person. No doubt w between the energy of the King of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, I don't feel like this is anything hesitation or friction on your part slow moving is just simply to get this connection going this person really had to tap into into themselves but I think you're going to enjoy them I do think there's an attraction I think that you will enjoy being with that person meeting that person okay message number three Shall we find out what is the nature of the High Priestess, Gemini? Before we get into another love connection that you have. Let's find out what this High Priestess is. Hermit. Deciding, made a decision. Find out a little more about the Hermit. We already know it's a family connection. Ah. Five of Cups clarifying our hermit. What if it's a past person, Gemini? Devil clarified. Knight of Swords. King of Swords clarified. That just wanted to fall out. Ten of Swords. Okay. So we could, of course, drill down more, but I think for the general collective, this is enough to tell us that we are dealing definitely with a past person. This energy is past person. I believe it could be an ex, not just somebody that you know, and it never got started. <laughs> I think this is an actual person you know quite well, Gemini. Or you know this person quite well, and you're going to reach out to them. The roles can be reversed. I do feel someone's going to reach out to you. This King of Swords is clarified by Ten of Swords. We have two Tens in this pile, too, for this love connection. We have a Ten of uh, Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is here. 
Not only do I feel that there was a connection that ended, I feel this King of Swords also made a realization, which is hence why the King of Swords is back for another round with you. I feel even more this connection ended and the person is back for a fresh round because of the devil. They squandered something. They squandered your relationship. Devil is clarified by the Knight of Swords. This person is now feeling the crunch of time to come back and try and make things right. High Priestess. Unfortunately, I feel like in this energetic pull, Gemini, I don't think this person is going to be forthcoming with their emotions. Like you would think perhaps with the king of swords and knight of swords energy that this person would be forthright and honestly say whatever their great intellect surely knows that you'd want to hear them say right i mean this person is not stupid but they're not going to do that i don't know why maybe it's ego i feel with the high priestess that also gives indication that as this person comes back to you in this innocent this is so innocent energy that they're going to approach you in very casual energy with this page of cups yeah this is like totally not revealing the head trips that this person is going through to try and get you going to be completely casual open you know carefree the page of cups belies this Anyway, the High Priestess is clarified by the Hermit and the um, Ten of Pentacles. So I feel that this person has come to a decision about trying to pursue a connection with you one more time for an ultimate family connection. Hermit is clarified by Five of Cups. They've realized their disappointment, but I feel that they're not going to go and express this to you. I feel they're not going to express their disappointment or their fear that they completely screwed up. Like, <laughs> so many energies here feel like completely screwed up. But anyway, um, Gemini, just know that at least when I'm pulling for this pile, a past person is going to come back. I think they're going to act very casual. They're not going to go and show it all. The depths that they feel and the opportunity they missed out on. And I feel also, too, the wrong that they, they did to you. But they're coming in, in really, to say manipulative is an understatement. I just feel they're not coming in good energy. So be aware of that. Those are my messages for you today, Gemini. If they resonate, let me know. Do like or leave a comment. And subscribe if you would like to see more content from me. I'll do daily videos for your collective we can see the short-term energetic nuances that are coming into your collective some of these i don't see is quite immediate but they're definitely short terms nothing like two months down the line or perhaps in some of them when they're thoughts maybe in a case like that but these These are people preparing to come to you. These are messages that will come into. I also feel for the positive ones, if you put out the vibration, the intention, Gemini, you can tap into these. I wouldn't tap into this one. Let that one go. <laughs> if it comes, it comes. You decide what to do with it yourself. You have free will. But tap into the good ones. You have good energies here, Gemini. Keep your vibration up, happy. And manifest what you want. And um, to those of you who subscribed, I'd just like to say thank you. Thank you very much to my subscribers. And uh, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.